Hello guys, welcome back to my channel today. We got some Sephora delivery. <laughs> Actually yesterday, but doesn't matter. Today we're going to unbox it together and we're going to create this autumn, I think, autumn kind of look because it's September. Oh my God, welcome to September. Didn't we wait for this month forever? At least for me, waited the whole August, okay? But before we get started and put like face on to this tired face, <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so we can see each other here every Friday. Notifications, subscribe, just like do the clicks, you know, it's all there available for you. So I'm going to use a few products today. I am going to use something I have for a while. I have never spoke about Cosas Concealer. <laughs> People love it out there. My first experience was not so cute, but I have learned how to use it and I have learned what was the problem before why I didn't like it, okay? So we're going to talk about it and I will use it with you. So my dear friends, I got these three and this is, I got the Olaplex cute little sample of the oil. How cute is that? So I purchased with Sephora same day delivery and I think that's why they gave me the sample <laughs> because it uh, didn't arrive the same day. It arrived like the day after and I purchased it in a correct time for the same day delivery, but it didn't happen. So it is what it is. Anyway, my dear friends, I got the Vestman Atelier blushes. Two, I already have two. We're going to compare them all. But let me tell you the color. So this is the Garcon and Bichette. And I think those two are the perfect autumn colors because one is like, I will show you, I will show you. I have to show it to you. And I as well went and purchased a Merit uh, eyeshadow in Color Studio. I'm very excited about it. It doesn't have very good reviews. <laughs> some people love it, some people really hate it. So I don't know if you are here for a while, but you could see uh, my Merit video of when I received actually PR from Merit many years ago. So I like Merit, I really enjoy Merit. I love this product from them, which is the eyebrow tint. So I had to try it because, you know, when Merit comes with something like eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow, that is like kind of my thing to use. And I'm very excited to give a try. Even I think it looked more cool tone on everybody else than it already looks here. Anyway, you know, I was, I had to try it because I was very proud of myself to be one of the first people out there on social media who got the Merit package to play with their makeup. So I was very proud of myself. So anyway, I purchased my own this time here. You know, in Miami, we don't get so much of the autumn. So at least the makeup will match, okay? I'm going to first use the Merit for my eyebrows. This is the first Merit product they send me ever. Black brown tone. I love this, guys. I love this product so much because it tints my eyebrows so perfectly. And the product, it's not like overexposed on the brush. So I don't get like super, like you get a little bit messy but I don't get like super messy all over the skin. Like these little things, you just fix that later. I was thinking about going for like eyebrow tint, but I'm just so scared that they're gonna do like really bad shape. <laughs> and then I am like stuck with it for like month, you know? One day I will try. I should have tried when I was in Prague, honestly. That's what I should have done. As well, you can see like my eyebrow is growing all over here. I love it. Revitalage is working so, so well. Anyway, I'm going to use my Vestman Atelier just to draw some extra strokes there because it's always good when you don't have them to be able to draw them, right? So I'm going to first use my favorite Armani 
concealer under the eyebrows just to you know make the shade more even and I also like to like brighten up the skin here and I like to have my eyebrows a little bit more lifted on the edges I don't like that you know the curve so I always clean up the extra product when I went too close or something like that. Guys, I think we have found the next location in Europe <laughs> where we would like to go and live. And I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you yet. But even husband is excited. And that's not, you know, easy task to do to have my husband excited. <laughs> I was like playing with the Netherlands idea for quite time. But... I don't know if the weather there is ideal for me, honestly, because I think I like a little bit more of summer. But we're going to Amsterdam next year. So if you have tips for a restaurants, I would love to hear. I would love to hear your tips, guys, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the Cossus concealer and I'm just going to do a few dips. Uh, guys, this is 2.6 C cool tone. Just so you know, okay? It's, uh, as you can see, it's not peachy tone. It's nothing like that. I will just swap it here for you, okay? Cool tone. This brush was such a silly purchase because it's so micro, Pat McGrath, but it blends the concealer quite nicely. Just so we know. So I naturally have quite dark eyelids. I know maybe on the camera it's not so obvious, but they are really rosy. <laughs> you can really tell I'm cool tone person on my eyelids because they are like pink, okay? <laughs> Can you see it now when I'm like putting the concealer there? So why I disliked this concealer previously was guys, I had, had I, I used too much of retinol the month and my skin was like in non-stop peeling. And when I applied this, it looked very patchy. So if you are in your <laughs> exfoliating in your shedding <laughs> face you may want to enjoy this concealer because it literally highlighted every dead cell on my face okay but now I think once the skin is hydrated and it looks quite cool cool cute I hate the word cool about fashion or makeup so I'm going to just show you here on a hand. I'm not gonna blend it too much, but this is how it kind of looks on a hand. It's like it's a nice product, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I didn't I hate it from the beginning, but I kind of learn how to like it and how to use it. I think it's very important. So I'm going to use my usual primer. Just a little bit because I don't know how my skin is going to react to this um, eyeshadow because it has like a warm tone to it and you know I get allergies <laughs> really easily so I don't want to end up like a raccoon on my YouTube video <laughs> so merit So 
very creamy, very creamy, super creamy, okay? Here, can you see? The color has like a little bit of a rosiness to it, which I really like. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of my very light Armani here on the front with the clean finger. Armani, it's the 18 number, something 18. Yeah, it's gone, great, but it's 18. <laughs> The cream I should do. Good. Ooh, okay. So this is much lighter than I thought it's gonna look on me. But this is so pretty. Oh, wow. So very pretty, very natural, very natural look for me but i like it i do like it it dries very fast on the eyelid guys very fast just so you know it's very creamy here but on the eyelid it dried in a seconds so you have to work fast you, you cannot like apply and wait you have to do this immediately I'm obsessed with the color. You see, I always touch myself here with the eyeshadows. Doesn't matter what kind of it is, but I always do that. I think I will even go for one more color, honestly. We'll see how it lasts, of course. And if I'm not gonna get like allergic reaction to it. But so far, I'm really impressed with the beautiful, it has like this rose tone, very like, Tea rose, you know, do we know tea roses? Beautiful guys, very beautiful. So one thing which I don't care about the concealer, that it doesn't really cover my, because I have a blue dark circles. I don't have like brown, I don't know. I don't know what the colors people usually do, but mine are like a little blue and I, today I didn't sleep well. So I need to go with a little bit of the usual Armani. Fab Is it fabric? No, it's like the one with the red Armani logo on it. The 24 hour lasting. As you see, very little bit, very little bit. But the eyeshadow is beautiful. This is so pretty. I'm like blown away how pretty it is. I will go and apply a little bit under the eye as well. Just a little bit. I like it very much. This was good purchase. I'm happy already. Happy already. My Tom Ford forever favorite. And this is always like hit and miss, right? But time I want to go super natural, I end up with like deep eyeliner. That works. One side. <laughs> One side is always a little bit different. So I shall have to go a little bit higher here, but it's okay. I'm not gonna be adding more because you know how we end up after, right?
this as well never fails i need new one i'm planning to get the one from refer because it has amazing reviews uh, this is from Wizerman. it's super old i have it forever sometimes it breaks my lashes sometimes it doesn't it's like you never know okay <laughs> I am in love with the eyeshadow. I am in so much love with that. My favorite Armani Eyes to Kill mascara for very natural look. That bit just didn't happen, but it's okay. I love this mascara. Love. So good it's just so good so I have two foundations <laughs> something fell Boot Shanty Kyle my obsession forever the compact style which is in a vanilla future skin cushion I call it compact because it's like compact powder vanilla um, and the future skin as well in vanilla okay look how beautiful the eyeshadow looks on the hand too it looks gorgeous guys uh, it dried completely completely dry it's not going anywhere okay nowhere um, I'm going to use this one because this is my favorite and I think autumn look deserves my favorite foundation I have a new one but I'm finishing this one so this is like anti-aging foundation from them it airbrushes the skin <laughs> like I have never seen and it's very light you can build up but I don't like like heavy foundation because I take care of my skin and I feel like when I put heavy foundation it just looks like I have a mask on my face um a little baby peels from whatever product I have used retinol <laughs> Back to the retinol drama. The vanilla is still a little bit yellow, but it's not as yellow. So anyway, should I put a little bit of bronzer or just go with the blush? A little bit of my bronzer, just a tiny little amount of bronzer. too much so so oh guys I want to show you something what I like to do my new discovery <laughs> I take my um, bonbon cocalicot um, bisou 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 balm okay one swipe and I take my girl line um, who knows the tone <laughs> I love this this is so cute no you see the color I will remove a little bit of the bonbon <laughs> and I top it I love the tone okay I love this love this love it girl line is a winner for sure so let's do the blush okay let's see new ones this is the bichette oh my god i love to swap new makeup super red super super red and Garcon, Garcon, what that means, Garcon? There you go. Mm. Hopefully it looks good on me. I would be very upset if it didn't. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my finger, I wish them, and just put a little bit 
Oh my god, this is the gar con. Garçon? Garçon? Is it garçon? Garçon, maybe. Okay. This is very like mouthy tone. You know, in winter time when you get like cold. <laughs> this is how you're gonna look. This is so freaking cute. So cute. Super cute. Do you see it? Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this. So, can you see it? to show it to you you know what I mean plus the eyeshadow and the other side I should powder a little bit but it is what it is this will be the bichette okay much more red I have a little hair here how did you get that more anyway so we're trying to go into like more Ooh, guys So let's put powder on so we can set it. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, Givenchy. So I found a way of liking it, okay, as well. I hate from the beginning to use it with the powder as everybody recommended, powder buff, um, hate it. So somebody wrote me use it with a brush. So I did. And now I like it and I have learned that they discontinue, <laughs> discontinue it the second I start liking it. So just so we know, that's the reality here. Should have buy the bigger one, <laughs> but I didn't. I have just a small one, but it is what it is, okay? Guys, again, without the light. I think I'm going to apply a little bit more of the redness <laughs> here. Keep it high here as well. Too much, too much. Don't do too much. And you know what, for those curious, if you curious as I am because this is the curious world right my lips are a little bit tinted now okay from what I had there before but why we should not go with this And you put it on the lips as well. <laughs> Absolutely works. So for myself, I would say I like more of this tone. 
than this tone on me personally. I think um, I think this tone is sort of too blendy on me. <laughs> it blended to very subtle. Maybe if I just apply more. Let's see. Okay, with this thing here. I think this is more for me than Bichette. What do we think? I think Bichette is a little bit better for me than the Mauve style. But I do like both because this is really looking like if I really got like vent going to my face how I would be probably you know I like them both but I think that the bichette is something I would like more or I can mix them right what if I mix them together because why not to do that People always write me, you should mix eyeshadows. <laughs> I'm like, I know I can mix them, but it's always about to showing the exact colors, you know? So when I go too close, as I just did to here, I'm just like going to use my makeup brush to remove it. So I'm going to swap next to these for you as well, the petal, okay? Where? Because there's the eyeshadow on the other side. So this is the petal, petal. As you see, it's very blue. It turns totally blue on me, which means <laughs> very cool undertone, okay? Not like blue, blue, blue. Um, Chouchette is one of my absolute favorites. I love Suchette. These two are the new ones, okay? This is the eyeshadow in the middle, and this is Petal and Suchette. So just so we know the difference in colors for this lovely autumn makeup, so for me, definitely the Bichette is a winner from the two, but I'm not saying no to this one either, okay? I like maybe the mix of them together. And you know what? I think with like a nice bun or something, you know, something cute, but yeah, this will kind of work, I think, you know? for the winter look, no? What do you think? So anyway, my dear friends, this is it. This is me testing the makeup. I wanted to show you, very excited, obsessed with the eyeshadows. And by now, videos for the two minutes, um, I will already feel itching and like this weird feeling of like wet eye from the top if I was getting allergy reaction to it, which means I'm not going to get allergy reaction to it. So I think this eyeshadow is going to come with me to Japan because I am looking for a very quick makeup there, you know? And this blush as well, yeah, excited. I'm trying to bring as little bit of makeup as possible. Very quick, you know, no drama. 
Anyway, my dear friends, so what do we think about this? What do we think about this makeup? I like it. I'm really enjoying it. I am going to place order for the concealer from Westman Atelier today before it sells out. <laughs> because I heard from Czech makeup artist I follow, she's amazing, that it's one of her best, absolute best, and she was very surprised. So I need to get one before it's going to be sold out everywhere. Yeah, I'm very eco-friendly eco with purchasing just one product. I know, but it is what it is. Okay, anyway guys, this is it. This is the look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you next week. Bye-bye.